Now let's talk some real from Jeff Van Gundy, because he says social media has a truly negative impact on players. Woo, with the hard ER, not A. All right, so ESPN, ABC, NBA, god dang it. The analyst we know is Jeff Van Gundy, recently made an appearance on the sports media with Richard Deitch, you know, his podcast, and it was asked about Victor Wambayama, how you say his name? Yep, Wambayama, and whether he's had the chance to see the likely number one overall pick in the draft play before. Uh, he has experience coaching big men who had high expectations. Remember, he coached Patrick Ewing. Remember, he coached Yami, Yami, you know what I'm talking about? He toasts both of them. So, he brought up a concern of his, and I like this. He said that somebody on one of these shows, and it was actually Chris Broussard on FS1's First Things First, who claimed that if Wembanyama becomes Kevin Durant or someone of that ilk, it'll be a disappointment. Oh, come on. Give me context. Please say that Chris Broussard didn't just say that and that's it. Come on. I was supposed to go to that show too, you know, when I was leaving Fox, it was like, here you go. You know what I'm saying? Here's a concession. Go over there with FS1 and do the first things first, which I love. That's actually my favorite show on the network. But I was like, nah, B, that New York lifestyle sound a little too straight hand, not enough Wiley, so I couldn't do it. But um, damn, they out there saying stuff like this, like you could fall down and be Kevin Durant and that's not good enough. Woo! All right, here's a quote. I just hope we all just give him the necessary time to acclimate to the NBA and we don't over evaluate each and every game. Oh, you know we are, Van Gundy, but all of these young people take so much of their cues on how they're doing through social media. I just hope we're just a little bit kinder to him than we are to some people on social media. You know we're not, but I digress. All right, so then Deitch chimed in and said it was horrible and social media would be horrible to win by Yama. All right, but he may have an advantage because he's from France and not being into the social media culture that has wrapped his arms around the U.S. of A. I don't know about that. I, I've left these borders before. Social media is everywhere. I'm out in Mexico trying to order me a, uh, something to drink and a, give me a pina colada. And the dude looking at he like on his phone. I'm like, dog, can you just give me a pina colada? He, oh, yeah, 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 I got you on me. Um, but the point is social media is taking over all these kids no matter where they're living. So here's a couple more quotes that I like. Uh, I think does... Social media does have a truly negative impact on players and how they feel about themselves. I could walk into my office every day and see the back pages hung up. It was humbling. You have to try to make light of it. Basically what's going on right now is social media, man, is being internalized. Uh, Jeff, Jeff Van Gundy, Stan Van Gundy, they all have talked about the fact that they have seen guys literally who get devastated by what they read online, right? You see that someone's broadcasting and then they check their Twitter between commercial breaks and come back deflated. I saw that, I'm gonna leave the guy's name out of it, but I saw it multiple times with one guy in particular. I was like, dog, you letting people you don't even know just get online and make you feel low, make you feel bad? Don't ever give somebody your remote control. The two rules of social media are don't respond to negative comments and never clarify your comments. You said it, you meant it, that's enough. What social media is to me is a beautiful way to transmit a message across the whole world, but it's also a microphone and megaphone to the back of the class. And typically the back of the class is where the dummies are, right? So it's the loud minority beating up the ha ha we already know beating up the silent majority so silent majority stop being so damn silent and start talking the strength is in the numbers